Hello? Can you guys hear me? So we're going to use a pencil as well if, and a ruler. So if you have one ruler there, uh, you can use pencil or you can use just any normal like black or blue pen. This blue pen is going to be uh, just for lines and like base lines, this kind of stuff. So uh, that's it. So, but if you want to use pencils, you can use pencils. If you want to use blue, blue or black, pen is all right as well. So the most important thing, do you have your ink? Good to have a little bit of water, like, and maybe some napkins as well, because mistakes are normal. And do mistakes and if the ink explodes on the table, over the table. So be careful about that, okay? You guys are all into the creative industry, I assume, right? So calligraphy is nice because uh, there's so many benefits for you to writing a lot. It's like, there's no massage for the brain or you know, a little bit of meditation, uh, um, putting outside anxieties or things that you want to just let it go. It's a little bit like, uh, like your self therapeutic process is really nice. I mean, I'm sure a lot of you guys like to read and write, um, read especially, and then you can write what you read or write your stories, uh, construct your your own one way to, 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 to relax for writing, right? So it's three o'clock right now. We have seven out of nineteen. I'm very. I like to be very sharp when I teach, uh, like time wise, because it's a respect for the people that is on time. So I'm always a little bit like uh, uh, careful about that, and then I I, um, I try to respect being punctual as much as I can. All right. So we have eight. I'm gonna start. It's three o one. We don't have a lot of time. One hour online passes like this. Hi, my name is Yomar. Uh, I'm a graphic designer, artist, type designer. I've been doing calligraphy since my college time. When I was in college, I learned from my from my from my brother-in-law. I saw him doing it, and then I saw him doing beautiful handwriting in metal pen, very delicate, small drawings on a kind of some paper. It was mind blowing when I saw. It. I said, "Oh my God, that's what is this?" Uh, he said, oh, this is calligraphy. Oh, can I start? Oh, he said, just buy the pens and start it. I said, oh, all right. So I, I, I lived in front of my house. There was an old, uh, old shopping mall. And I had a possibility. And there was a lot of antiques. And these are all antiques. People threw away. My grandfather was writing. But nowadays, it's coming back. There is a strong calligraphy lettering culture coming back, especially for a lot of uh, 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 women calligra calligraphers, right? Martina Floor, Sila, Sila Costa, you know, Emma O'Brien. For the ladies on the list that I'm seeing here primarily, how many ladies uh, just, uh, just, I think just Kurt is the only, is that was the, with me like on the male side, but uh, hi, Stacy. Um, calligraphy is coming back super strong because uh, people are tired of, you know, screens and computers, because we just write on a screen, send texts, iPad, computer, and you stay on the computer the whole day. So it's kind of cool to go back into the paper and ink. That's it. You have paper, you have your hand, you have a tool between your hand and the paper and friction and pressure and balance and stuff so that you can, you can, can, you know, experiment. Well, calligraphy is very direct. So don't worry about the mistakes. Just don't worry about this ugly. This, uh, it's normal things about, oh my God, this doesn't look nice. This doesn't look this. Don't, just don't care. Just liberate yourself and embrace the mistakes because calligraphy is about embracing your own personality because that's what you're doing, right? If you read or if you see, uh, if you work, if you have a co-working and if you write the same amount of text and this person write the same amount of text, if you combine them, they, have, they are absolutely different so because personality is a great aspect of calligraphy, okay? So I've been doing this for a while, like maybe since like a little bit more than 20 years. I am not a classical calligrapher. I think I could have I could have been if I decided to do it, but I, I have other interests. 
and calligraphy after a while for me becomes a little bit repetitive. But I love the process. I use calligraphy on a daily, daily basis to, you know, to write and experiment with my work, especially as you can see a piece here that I was not planning to show. So this is not social, uh, you know, soft promotion. So it's kind of cool. Uh, there are large calligraphy, brush, large calligraphy pieces that I do with large brushes. You see, this is a large brush. That's the brush that we're gonna use today, right? So if you see the brush is the same, it's like thick, thin, thick, thin, thick, thin, right? It's a little bit like your hand, right? It's your hand like this, your hand is thin, thick, thin, thick. So if you do this shape, you see the shape, like if you do this, if you use this as a, you see there is a very thin part, but if you do calligraphy from this shape, you're gonna have this horizontal shape, right? But if you do this, you're gonna have this line that you can follow with your hand. There's a thin line that go to a thicker line. So the thin line go to a thicker line. Okay, so calligraphy is pretty much, I'm gonna switch to the to show you my hands now. So you guys don't need to see my, my face anymore. All right, all right. <laughs> Bye. So you guys are seeing my hand now, okay? I'm gonna. If you guys have any questions, I, I, I'll show you. Okay, okay. The, uh, I'm, I cannot listen to you. The system of Crowdcast is different than Zoom because it's a little bit more direct for this kind of stuff. I mean, as far as I know, you can put four people here. It's a system that afterwards, if you guys want to follow me, it would be nice because if I put another workshop, you guys are gonna get uh, a note, a note that I'm doing another course. It's like. The Crowdcast, you don't need to, as you can see, you don't need to install anything. Everything runs on the browser. It's kind of pretty, pretty nice. Uh, it's a little bit different. I just, uh, and I have, yeah, yeah, you have to pay a little bit to have it, to use it. It's not a free source. A little bit. So I kind of like that to create a community. But anyway, as you can see here, that's pretty much the tools that I use. I use a lot of these pens as well. I love them, right? I love these pens. They have a, uh, the you know they flex a flex bro a flex kind of kind of point uh they're called what's the name yeah. uh touch uh i think is up i can show you if you guys are interested i can show you at any 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 place you can buy them these are metal and that's a different than the bro than the than the the the, 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 the flat brush but the principle is the same it's just like thin this you guys can be able to see it thin thick thin thick so you, in the same time that you actually see that you're like you see my hand so when you do calligraphy with like with flat flat br flat brush like this your your arm and your hand are already connected so you have to kind of connect your arm to your hand so you don't use only, your, you see my hand, you don't do this. You try to do this, right? You do this afterwards when you mask a little bit more. But I, I, for the, to the beginning, I think it's better for you. If you have to do one line, your arm become a little bit like a laser cut, like a, a plot of like an XL, X, XY kind of platform, as you can see. So I'm going to, going to. I use when I use ink, as, as you can see, I use a little bit of ink. You see here on the on the screen, a little bit on the light. You don't need a lot of ink. That's for sure. Like just a touch. So when you use your ink, okay, but we I'm gonna explain to you just like I use it like this. Keep your ink, your water, a little bit of water, and as like a like a tissue, just for cleaning your brush after a while, because you need to keep cleaning your brush, okay? Uh, I'm going to show you a little bit like how I use calligraphy. So calligraphy for me is like pretty much an expression for work. So uh, I, I'm a very lucky guy to have my sister art bookbinder. So I bound this book. I learned how to bind it with her. So this is very sweet form to use calligraphy because you can make your own books and then you can uh, bind them and then you can keep it in your backpack and then you can literally do calligraphy anywhere you are if you're in a client if you're in a cafe so and stuff like this this you see these books so these connections here that means that i did this calligraphy in a larger sheet of paper and then afterwards i fold them and then i make the book that is you can see on the edge of the book you can see the last of the like the remaining of the calligraphy work that's kind of cool 
I like that a lot. And then this book is a bit like super flexible. So create these, uh, kind of, you guys can see how flexible the book is. So I'm very into books. So if you're into, if you're into the writing, you have to be into paper. And if you're into paper, you have to be into books, right? There's no escape. And then that's pretty much how, that's kind of funny. We open this page like this. That's how we're going to start today. Right. So since that we don't have a lot of time, let's go directly to action. Right. As you can see, this is the brush exactly the same. Oh, lucky. This is exactly the same thickness of the brush. So you see one unit, three units, three units, second unit, you know, unit by unit. So I want you guys to get your page, get your paper. Right. And one single sheet of one single sheet of paper like this. Right. Super straightforward. And I want you guys to on the ink, right? I don't want you, I don't you don't dip the, the, the brush entirely in the ink, right? And one thing that I want you before we start, just to be careful, like I'm gonna put the, the brush like this. So you don't bend the brush, let me put it like this. You don't bend the brush like this, right? You don't bend it too much. You just need a little bit of pressure, a little bit, right? Like this and like this. In front and back, side sideways. Okay, so you don't smash the brush. You this is not sign pain. Can you guys can see the 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 the, the, the paper well? Everything it's okay. Can you guys answer me here? Okay, perfect. Right. Yes. Yes. Sweet. So you don't. I mean, you don't need a lot of ink. As you can see, look. What you can do is just like scraping the ink. So afterwards, you can like you see. Just a little bit, right? You can afterwards even like dip a little bit on the black ink and then remove a little bit on, on the water, I'm sorry. And remove a little bit, mix uh, again with the ink. And I want you guys to think about this. I want you to like, one, two, three, four, five, six. So you keep doing your squares, right? Always dipping on the ink and dipping on the water. You see the difference between when it's water and the water? Like that's very nice, right? right? I want you guys to think this will be your partner all the time for the rest of your life. All this, all this, all the, how can I say, the, the, the unit systems. Because this unit system is gonna tell you how big your your drawing is gonna be. For instance, this is a different is a little bit thicker brush. If I have a different brush, I will have a different unit systems, right? So I'm creating this unit unit system base for this brush. How can you imagine the unit system for this brush? It's a little bit the same, but you need a very large paper. That's why I use this brush for paintings and murals and stuff like that. Because you need a larger, you know. Uh, surface to act to like to put all this information inside right uh, but but i want you guys to i'm gonna i want you guys to come with me and prepare your page and then i'm gonna show you other things so what you can feel about it is like this this is one unit this is a three unit third unit and so forth so i want you guys to go and just like you can do let me see and let's let's save space. So let's do two units. So you mark a line. So and then you jump one unit. You jump because you don't want you don't want the, the shapes to connect it and to touch each other, right? I normally do I, I normally do these lines use, using a pencil because I don't want to mark my drawing too much, but I do black ink a little bit thicker here for you guys to be able to see in the screen perfectly, like I'm seeing right now. So it's better for the screen. But I normally, when I have a professional project to do it, I will do with a pencil and afterwards I will brush it off, right? And then I will scan it because you don't, I, I, I read it, I, sometimes I do mistakes that you have to do a hundred drawings and scan them. And then afterwards I have to go there and erase the lines, you know, it's a pain in ass. So, so just be careful. What you know, if you, if you use a pencil, for instance, let's try to find a pencil here. You guys are gonna see the difference when you want it, you never find it. Right. Okay, yeah, it's 
So this will be a pencil, like, so you guys are gonna be able to see the difference, right? That's be the line that you almost don't see it. I prefer on my professional work, I do like this in a workshop, but on the screen like here, I think it's better to do with the black one for you guys to be able to see it, right? So jump one. Am I talking too loud or it's okay? You guys can hear fine. Uh, let's let me know here if you can, right? So perfect, perfect, perfect. So I'm I'm just gonna leave this page for for a while now. Another thing, another thing that you can do is just keep one page. If your page are transparent enough, instead of to do these things all the time, you can go there and put. I can see it here. You probably can't see there, but. If you have, if you end up working in a light table or something like that, you can do that just in case. Okay. So I'm going to just, I'm just going to show you guys a couple of things before we start. And then I'm going to do a bunch of different styles of San Diego design week. So you guys are going to be able to follow afterwards. If you, if, if you don't photograph, I can scan them, make a PDF and send you guys a link back and you can download everything. What I've been doing here. So you guys are going to have the real deal file to use it, okay? So I want you guys to keep three things in mind, uh, a couple things in mind. Calligraphy is a relationship between angles and pressure. So your hand, so you see, my, if you imagine this is the paper, right? If this is the paper. So you don't do true, like true, like vertical, and you don't do true, like horizontal. You try to find a comfortable angle of 30, 35 degrees for your hand. And in relation of the paper, there is an angle as well. So look at look at this shape right now, for instance. If I do this shape in, in 45 degrees, right? Look. You see, I start a drawing, I don't move. So this is 45 and this is 45. So if I do a 45 degree angle on horizontal, on horizontal drawing, that's what you're gonna get, right? So I can get it more ink. But put in the water, so it's always like this. Look, I'm gonna put it here. So look, a little bit of ink. You scrape the ink a little bit, take it out, water, take it out, and it's ready. That's how I like to work. Okay. Keep this in mind. So 45 degrees, as you can see, here, here's a 45 degrees, right? This is 45, right? This is 45. So everything is 45, right? Everything is 45. So even if you bring it, this drawing like here, this is 45, and now a, a thin line of, uh, of 45. So you have, these are fundamental shapes for the calligraphy work that we are doing right now. So this is a 45 asteriscus. So, but if I do like, let's try to do like our shapes in 30 degrees. So pretty much that's the two angles that you have to work with calligraphy, right? 30, 45 and the 30 degrees. So this is 45. So you're gonna try to rotate a little bit your brush and you're gonna find the 30 degrees. You see that 45, 30, 45, 30, right? So if I go down like, oh, I'm gonna be 30 degrees, of course it's not perfect. It might be 31 or different, but you know, but you got it, you see? So you go down, 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 down. You see my my arm? I mean, I don't move my hand on it. I move my arm. You see my arm? So when you set your brush in, 40, in 30 degrees, you go down in 30 degrees. You never rotate your brush. When your brush is set in an angle, right this, like 45, you go in 45 all the way. So even if it's a circle, a circle shape that I'm going to show afterwards, you keep your brush in 45 or in 30 degrees. So you need to set these angles before you start, right? And you don't need to pressure too much. So you have these two fingers here that you can actually control the amount of pressure that you put on the paper. See, if, I, if my hand will be the paper right here. So you see, you use these two little fingers here to control the amount of pressure. You never do this on the brush, never. You always do this. Like you literally is a, a, a relationship of very delicate uh, pressure system that you have to learn how to use it. Okay, let me put my hand a little bit, bring a mess here, as you can see. But anyway, so you go like in 30 degrees here, not 45, this is a 45, I'm going, I'm in 30 degrees now, right? So I'm gonna, when I finish the oh, 30 degrees in horizontal, so you need to be careful not to touch the central shape, right? So 30 degrees,
30 degrees. Can you see the difference between 30 degrees and 45, right? So 30, 30, 30, 30, 30. So 30 degrees, okay? So keep this in mind. And another thing that you guys can keep in mind as well is your breath, your air intake, right? The air intake is fundamental. So when you start a drawing, try to... It's a little bit like yoga, yoga work. Uh, different. It's not your body, but you your hands and in your arm. So of course your body. For instance, I'm doing calligraphy right now. I'm standing. So depending if you do calligraphy like in a like if you're like on a wall or on a floor. For instance, in my large scale work, I've been using these techniques of breathing out and breathing uh, 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 inhale and exhale for for to improve the balance of the shapes. Okay. So again, if I have a, if I have a circle in 40, 45, let me show you this example. One second. Yeah, like this. 45 degrees. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out, 45, oh, no, 45, it was a little bit like that. One, two, right? You see the 45 angle here? Look at the 45, I'm gonna put like in the green. See the 45? So when you establish the 45, you keep everything in 45. That's what, that's what you have to keep in your mind, right? If there is a left, there is any left-handed person here? Put it here in the chat, in the chat, in the chat. Right? Nobody is left. Everybody is right-handed. So, 30 degrees. I'll be doing 30 degrees now. And then I'm going to explain this a little bit for you guys. So, you guys are going to be able to see one thing. Okay? 30 degrees. Go, 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 go. Stop. Go, 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 stop. 30 degrees. One, two. One, 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 one. So I want you guys to see this. You know, this means that, uh, look, I'm just going to do like another letter O in 30 degrees. So it's a bit different than the 45, right? Takes a little bit more space. So 45 takes less space than 30 degrees. 30, 30 degrees are basically the Romans, the regular type faces, and the, and, the, like, and the 45 degrees are basically the cursive and the italics. We're gonna get there. I'm gonna explain to you the foundations, right? So, but this year, I want you guys to take a look of these elements, for instance. Uh, this is like 30 degrees, remember? Uh, you can see the letter B here. Can you see the letter D? The D is here. Look, the P is here. P. The Q is here. The Q. The letter D. The P. And you see, if I do another serif here, you already have your letter N. The N is here. The O. The the, the letter C. They. So if you if you're a designer and a type designer and you're interested to how to see your type behave. This is a very interesting element to see to find the DNA of your font, of your type and stuff. Okay, so I want you guys to photograph, keep this in mind. I'm always going back to this because that's why you need to understand to do flat brush calligraphy. Okay, it's very simple and very direct. So I'm gonna create here, like, let's go into the basics exercise again. I'm gonna start the basics exercise in 45 degrees, right? So one. Two, one, two, one, two, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, okay? Very, think about your white spaces, right? White spaces are fundamental, right? They're very important. So I'm just going to go, you see my, my whole arm moves, one, 
go in, go in, go in, go out. So you want this knifey thing. You see this? This is such a, such a sharp shape. That's what you want. You want your shapes absolutely super sharp. Absolutely sharp, you know? So, absolute. Go in, straight, straight, circle. Go in, straight, straight, circle. Go in, straight, straight, circle. And it's kind of cool when the ink starts to fade, your brush starts to create these little heads and the heads open and create beautiful, like, uh, 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 white lines. And, and it's very nice. So uh, I'm just going to go super fast. We don't have a lot of time, and I want to try to go into the words as fast as possible. So here I'm already changing to 30 degrees. So one... 31, one, one, right? O, oh, letter O. Oh. The O is very hard. It's not a very easy to do letter, but afterwards you start to do, like, helps you to all the letters, like the E. You see, this is a nice one. You go in and go in, right? But it's always when I set my work, my, my, my movement, you keep your movement into that direction, right? And you can even play with comma, stuff like that, right? These are, these, are, these are basic exercises for you to start to like, to warm up your hand. Look, you can even make a little bit more flourish on that one, a little bit. Right. So for this class today, like it's more like a demonstration base, I'm going to show you this. This is the base for you guys to understand things. But I, I'm going to go in directly to draw a bunch of different things with different styles and different sizes. And you guys going to follow like in the way that you like and the way that you want it. Right. There's not that much in a structure for your for for the way that you do your calligraphy, but try to keep this in mind that I want you guys to be free. So I'm going to show you guys a bunch of different tools and without uh, any compromise that you have to follow or you have to do it, okay? So I'm just going to do like that. I'm going to try to do as much drawings as possible. And then we're going to like, I call it like rock and roll session. And, and we're going to try to do as much as possible. In a short period of in a short period of time. So, all right. So without doing your, so I'm gonna do I'm gonna do like different sizes of base or of, of. I don't want to do the page normally. I will do the the unit pages all the time. But since that we don't have a lot of time, I'm just gonna create my own uh, base lines out of the blue. And then inside of this baseline is uh, this, uh, this, I will try to make compose calligraphy work like in a, in a more free style. So you guys will be able to, to try to follow and, and afterwards I can send you, you guys can try to copy and stuff like that. Okay, everything's clear so far? Any word, everything's okay? Yes? All right, all right. So let's go. I'm gonna. Tr I'm gonna. Uh, one thing that I want to show you guys is my toolkit. That's my mom did it. So uh, as you can see, I have a bunch of different tools. Uh, double calligraphy stuffs like that. This, they're very nice. We're gonna. Use, I can use today. Uh, let me see if I can do some sort of uh, like Chinese brushes that I really like. I like them a lot. And maybe pipette. I mean, to use a pipette to do calligraphy is kind of cool. Let's try to understand if I can do something like that. Little simple brushes like this, like a, like a, a no contrast, such a bulky brush. And of course, the metal stuff that I really love it and this I'm going to show you as well, okay? So I'm going to do like this. I'm going to do a bunch of different demonstrations and 
and then we we, we see what we get to find. I'm going to try to draw like San Diego Design Week in different styles and different methods and different angles. And of course, I'm going to try to keep the 30 and the 45 degree angle, but you pretty much can try to apply any angle you want. You want. I mean, the idea is to keep a to keep a limitation is good for your own process, right? So limitations are good. So I'm gonna try. Oh, this got wet a little bit. Okay. So let's go for it. Let's go. I'm gonna start with San Diego. So I'm gonna, or maybe Sun, and then we go like this: San Diego design. Wait, oh, yeah. we're gonna spend the next half an hour, 40 minutes, just doing that. And if you guys want to put it here, uh, like, oh, Omar, please do another letter that is not part of San Diego. San Diego design, San Diego by itself is quite nice because there's the S, there's the D, there's the G, lowercase. It's actually a very nice word, right? And um, you can play a lot with, with that word. So let's try to do like, I'm going to do like a San Diego for you guys here to see it. Right? Air in, air out. All right. So in this case, since I didn't do like, you have to be careful not to have a, uh, 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 like a, I didn't do like, I want to mix upper casing and lower cases. So I have to create a, a X line, an X high for my lower cases as well, right? Look at my hand and right. So now the end, 30 degrees. Super calm, super chill. Right. You don't need to run. So try to be calm. Breathe in. Breathe out, okay? Breathe in. I'm gonna do a little bit sun. You see this when the ink starts to fade? It's very beautiful, very beautiful. I really love when the ink does that. And the brush is new and sun. So break, um, we are literally breaking apart the work that the San Diego design week and you're gonna do a big exploration of what you can actually do so sun you see I took this so you can say okay this sun is okay is high the contrast is super high uh it's not condensed this is much more condensed than this one so let's do like sun with uh with um uh, italics for instance like so a lowercase italic, okay? One, two, three, okay? One, two, upstroke, you see the upstroke? Sun, ah, oh, this, uh, this lowercase a is nice. I like, I'm more italic kind of person. I'm much more comfortable doing italics than the regulars. But that's what I want. I want you guys to compose a page using all the spaces that you have on the word. If you're not comfortable using San Diego Design Week, you guys can use any word you want, like your own names. I know that is a Christy has a very interesting name with Eric Burgess, double S. Um, yeah. I think sometimes I think that San Diego Design Week is nice because afterwards you guys can compare and see the shape uh, and see how uh, each person is taking the, the challenge, right? So, breathe in, close your eyes, breathe out, go back to the drawing, uh, up strokes. Italics, you have all these movements, all these up strokes, up strokes. So it's one, so, you know, two and three. So this is gonna be like stairs, you know. So italics, they have this upstrokes movement that we don't have on the Romans, right? So sometimes you take the friction in an upward movement. So 
Let's see an Asana, a little bit more condense it. Like, you see, I did a little bit faster. Did you see, did you notice that? I push it, oh, this is nice. I really like, I haven't been doing calligraphy for a while, so I feel a little bit shaky, but this, I, I don't even want to touch the shape anymore. I want to keep, because I want to scan it. I'm going to try to protect this, not touching it. You see, but this end is not so nice, but I like this. You see, you guys can allow yourself some experimentation to create some kind of combinations of dye. So I'm going to try to construct uh, something different now with a little a different brush or maybe, let me see what I can do here. Yeah, uh, as you can see here, let's try, I've been composing these brushes since for my, for my artwork as well. So I haven't been, I've been cutting brushes for a while now. So it's not something that I started to do yesterday, right? And the, the cool thing about calligraphy in a design college is instead of to spend a lot of time looking for the right font, you, I was writing and designing my own fonts. And then that was kind of, that's pretty much how I started this transition between calligraphy to typography. Because they are strictly connected. I can get the shape and try to imagine the shape as, as a font, but that would be a different workshop, okay? But look at this, for instance, if I want to do something right using the double line so you say oh you can actually see these kind of connections are nice right i really like it you can even like go there inside and try to do but maybe maybe it was a bit too much but you can actually change that i mean i did this one this one is a little bit smaller you see they are absolutely be the same but they are a little bit smaller. So you guys can go uh, a little bit more delicate using listen to your personality. If you're a little bit more aggressive, if you like strong shapes, like me, uh, more into the anxious and more like energetic, you can try. Or even if you're uh, uh, like a more calm, more mellow person, that I normally try to do, you can even try to do calligraphy with minimal, minimal size like this. It's still fat, flat brush, right? Let me try to do this with teeny, weeny, tiny, tiny, tiny calligraphy, right? I don't do much, I'm not very good, but because I prefer bigger sizes, but oh, not good. Let me. Right, <laughs> if you compare this to this, such a distance. But uh, uh, what I want you guys to keep in mind, you guys can absolutely try out so many different things. Look, I'm gonna even the letter, like letter S, for instance. Look at how many different terminations you can. Because if I have the central part of the S, my I call I would call the spine of the S. Even if I have a road, like a curvy feet, a curvy termination here, I can invert the, you know, the termination of this ass and create a total different feeling. And even though if I, even if I want to like a more straight. So this is a very interesting thing about Kalir. This is very nice. I really like to explain it like that because that's my transition into typography. So you literally, you see it's getting less handmade into a more mechanical kind of thing, right? So this is a kind of nice page to think about it, like sand. So let's go move to Diego now. My idea, my plan is to have San Diego Design Week all done in two different styles and, and pretty much it. So you guys can follow your own uh, structures. Everything's okay? You guys are good? Yes, yes. Everything's okay? No, no answer? Yes? Okay, okay. Uh, let me do all good, all good, nice. It's kind of weird. I never, I'm not, I never, I'm not used to, to teach like this. Oh, thank you, okay, Stacy. <laughs> okay, let's do Diego now. I'm excited about Diego because I'm gonna show you guys the lowercase g, you know, that's uh, 
That's a tricky one. But um, okay, I can push it. Yeah. What you can do as well is to, to, to try to do your shit, uh, make make sketches with in, with the, with the. I don't know if you guys can see it, but sketch it with with the pencil and and, and try out. No harm, no foul. Any kind of experimentation you can do. I mean, you're allowed to do it. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it like that. Whoa, flying, flying pencil here, but back. All right. So let's see, Diego. So I'm gonna do like an, again, like upper, uh, like Roman, thirty degrees. You see my hand? Keep, keep the eye on my hand. Keep the eye on my hand. Instead of the drawing, you see, my hand doesn't move, right? This one is a little, yeah. Straight, straight, straight curve. Very nice little, little drop. And now Diego, go, 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 go. Stop, stop, go, go, go. Diego, now the upper case, a uh, lowercase g. Okay, one, two, go all the way to the baseline and connect. And then you, nice, nice, like Diego. So, and then afterwards, when you have this, you guys can go back and do experimentations like this, old school stuff, you know? Just like, you see? Combine it. And then you see how this can combine with that and how this can combine with sun, you know? Like, stuff like that, that I really like it. Simple, simple old school stuff, just comparing. And then you can... You see, like, you're here 20 minutes, we already have two pages, and you guys, the power of uh, the power of expansion of calligraphy is very interesting. You can expand your work very fast, right? Very fast. So, move, let's go. This is 30 degrees, remember? 30 degrees, you see? 30 degrees. See, the angles are equal. So that's what you want. You want equal angles, you know? Equal angles everywhere, right? That's the angle plan, like, you see, so let's move into 35, 45 degrees now. So what happened if I do a Diego in 45 degrees? So I mentioned before, oh, my mistake. it's normal, right? But the idea of, you see the italics, they shape, they save space. Back in the times, I mean, I don't know, but when actually they were like printing books and stuff like that, a lot of books were setting italics because italics to save space. So you save paper, so you save money. So that's why in Italy, the italics became very successful price wise, money wise. Because these guys were saving a lot of paper, because paper was something not like, you know, there was no kinkos or office or, you know, staples around. Like, it was a complicated issue. I mean, and that's the interesting thing about calligraphy it's a 3,000 years old art form with the evolution of humans. And you have all the, the Latin culture, the, 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 the Asians with the, 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 the Chinese, Japanese, Korean. And, and you have all the Arabic world with, with, with absolutely total different connect and the Hebrew as well. And uh, is when you actually move, uh, you start to see calligraphy as communication and communication part of linguistic and so forth, right? So I'm gonna try to do a G here in a different way now. Since that we have this lower case here, I'm gonna try to not to touch, right? That's what I want, I want not. So what's the ruler goes here? I'm gonna go back to do the, the black lines because you guys can see better. Yeah, yeah, a little bit better on the screen. Uh, so I'm gonna do double line. Okay. So I'm gonna try to do like a little bit extended, extended 
regular Diego. Uppercase. His brush is not super smooth, but right. So there's some letters that I like more than others. I definitely like the G a lot. I'm very bad on capital D's. Capital D is a letter if I don't train every day, every day, they don't look good. I have a problem. And this is going to happen to you guys as well because you have some letters that you like more than others. Like, you know, uh, if you, uh, the letters like uh, capital, for instance, capital B, for instance, that we're not going to do it here today, but. I'm much better on capital D's than the capital D's. I really don't know why. It's a letter that I love, but train, uh, it's a little bit more cuter. I don't know. The D's, my, my, definitely my italic, I see some mistakes here, but they definitely can be better. But I mean, definitely when I do the workshops, uh, the workshops are training and practice. They are not the, my best drawings, of course, right? You don't, when you train, you train. When you're in a serious game, you're in a serious game, right? That's it's the same thing with calligraphy and the same thing with anything in life. Train is train, the game is a game. So <laughs> let's go to San Diego design. Let's go to design. Okay. Because we have 15 minutes, but we can be a little bit longer here if you guys want. I can stay 10 minutes, 15 minutes more. There's no problem. Okay. So I'm going to do my. I am training to do more. Uh, workshops online so it's great to be with you guys and afterwards if you guys can follow me as i told you before it would be awesome so you, i can let you know when i have more workshops i'm gonna do more solid ones with full alphabets and typography workshops and maybe moving to book arts because i really want to try to we we make out of our calligraphies a book and stuff like that Design, design, design. <laughs> design is a funny word. Design. I am a designer. What do you do? I'm a designer. <laughs> the design. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna go into the design. Let's go lowercase, uh, uppercase D again. Damn it. Yeah, this is not that bad. There's still a mistake here. Not perfect. You can use like this as well, or you can do like, like this, depends what you want, right? But you definitely, you can use both of them. I kind of like the, just a losango, so you can actually train between the lines like this in your, <laughs> it's kind of cute. There's so many exercises. I mean, like uh, basics exercise. I normally try to write like this, but I'm holding to write like this for you guys to see it. Perfect. So I have to move my body. You guys can see it. I think you can, right? I don't know, but let's see. Like 45 degrees. Remember 45 for the italics. So. One, two, upstroke, go down, link. Nice. One, two, three. Nice. 
you can do it in any kind of uh, punctuation mark with Caligraphy if you like. Design? <laughs> yeah. For sure. <laughs> Design? Yeah. Like. <laughs> um let me see so let me try to do with the thin guy let's see if, uh, if i can find a way to show super oh this is not bad Inhale, exhale. Mm -hmm. okay. Let me try to do something here. I use a lot of uh, uh, upper sands, upper sand, no, uh, 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 add signs. They're kind of cool. This one actually is very cute. I mean, kind of like it, this one. So you can play with, we're not talking too much about numbers, but I love the numbers. I mean, it's one of my specialities, is the number. Oh, this is a cute number, too. So you start to like to do this kind of things, and then you use the entire paper. It's kind of nice to just like play around, right? So you can say, I don't know, let me see, Sarah. Sarah, this is nice. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so let's go move to the week now. And and then we're gonna have our we're gonna meet our challenge. And then if you guys want me to ask to write anything, I can do it. We can keep playing a little bit. But I just want to show you like an overall look. It's not very easy. It's not very difficult. It's just like uh, repetition, repetition, repetition. <laughs> just repeat. Keep repeating. Keep exercising. It's such a is a is a is a is a is a is a, is a how can I say? You have to fill pages and pages and pages, hundreds and hundreds of yards of tasks, and that's it. Keep trying, keep exercising. It's not that much. There's no mystery. It's all about labor and work, you know? You just need to keep exercising, keep repeating, keep repeating. And then suddenly, like, there's so much tutorials online that you can see, and then... For the local San Diegans, I, I'm here. You guys, if you want to show me the drawings, we can analyze them. Yeah, I mean, you don't even, you know, just email me or you want to show. It's up, it's, it's up to you. It's just, there's so much. I think one important thing is the research. Since calligraphy and typography are 500 years craft, there's so much material that online is such a... Uh, stuff like this, for instance, I'm going to show you. I have a... That's one of my problems is collecting, and I collect a lot of things like um, uh, printed matter, basically. For instance, this is a, this is a book of ex libris. Ex libris. Ex libris when people own books and then you have your own kind of stamp they put on their books. So there was a tradition in the Netherlands because everybody has libraries and stuff. So I found this book, look at how beautiful it is, kind of hand binds. Um, uh, it's absolutely stunning when you see this old like logos here that you literally could do, totally try to calligraphy this back. Like, look at this X libraries here, and they're all full of type, all of them, you know. Like, so let me try to find. Oh, look at this one. Like, it's just stuff like this that you need to. It's just, oh, this is beautiful. Yeah. You can try to copy this in calligraphy, you know, finding. 
you see the, the amount of beautiful things encrypted on this. So um, I, I would advise if you guys are into the type, go, go out a bit of the computer and try to find real stuff that you can touch. Because calligraphy is real stuff that you can touch, right? So <clears throat> let me drink a little bit of water. All right, let's take this final part here to go for the week. So then we can combine a little bit and see how many designs we did and stuff like that. Okay, if you guys want to email your work, feel free, okay? You guys, and that, I will write my email here for people that doesn't have. People that don't have. I'm trying to not paint my computer. <laughs> yeah. So you guys can send it to me. Okay, let's go to a week. I'm gonna do like a 45, a 30 degrees one. Down, 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 curve, broke, straight. Yeah, that's a nice, yeah, that's a nice one. Okay, so let's go italic now, 45, italic's a little bit different. All right, quick. Let me try to open up a little bit on a more extended version. Afterwards, things become so fluid, you know? Oh, nice, it's nice. It's a bit weird, but this, you see, you see things that you really like it and you feel a bit different. Even if you do like... Experimenting. Right? Weak. Right? <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Yet. I don't know. <laughs> all right. I mean, you guys, uh, you, want, you guys want me to write all your names to wrap up? So let's see how many names you have here. My God. It is a bad idea. <laughs> no, I'm going to try. I'm going to like Eva, Pam. Stacy, let me finish that and then you guys can have it. And if you got it, just to, 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 just to get out a little bit, but just to analyze a little bit, uh, like Sam, like when we started and I tried like week, right? So it's very short period of time. Look at how cool is this? So you guys can see it in a short period, in a, in a short period of time. Very short. I mean, just like we've been doing this 40 minutes. Look how many drawings you already you fool the screen with drawings, and it's pretty nice to see the, the variety of shapes that you can do and stuff like that. It's pretty nice. Like I really like this. I never worked like this before, so I'm gonna keep these systems to for the next workshop. So you can mix it like design Diego. So you kind of see Sarah Diego. <laughs> Right. So design we what you guys can do as well. I don't have a scissor here right now, but you definitely can cut it out the shapes like this. And let me cut it out on a single very fast here. Wow, most perfect. So sorry. perfect. So you can play with that, right? And then you, you move around, stuff's like super easy, you know, like weak. And you see which design you want to use it. You don't need a computer, man, right? You can do the stuff. And afterwards you scan them and then you clean it. But afterwards, I mean, you kind of look at some weak design, right? 
you don't you, afterwards you scan them clean the lines as i told you before don't use black use pencils because then you can er like just er erase it out uh how about me yeah yeah i got from me yeah you guys can put some words here and i'm doing it like for the next few minutes how about that you can do it get more paper and, and then afterwards, what I do to save paper, I just fold them and I use the I use the back part a lot. I never I never I never threw away anything. That's my problem. My studio is full of exercise pages because you have other spaces that you can you know like save for like design and but anyway maybe this is too much but I mean but definitely the back part I use a lot. One second, let me get another paper. All right, let me see. I'm gonna do like two, two styles per page, I think is nice. All right, you guys, uh, you want me to write any names or that's it? Just me gay. Otherwise, I'm gonna. This is it. <laughs> oh my God, lucky mistakes. Echo. Echo. Stacy, I will do it. Oh my God. Should have said this. Should have said quiet. <laughs> What's that, Ninge? Yeah, a little bit more loose, right? That's, that's kind of a little bit like biker, a biker in game. No, there's like, I like it. I like there's a lot of energy and stuff, but let's try to do a little bit more quiet now, right? I do very fast. So what I can do now is a very, very quiet. And very relaxed. I am coming up with this now. This these shapes out of the blue. So I want you guys to be, <coughs> excuse me, uh, understand that you guys can experiment with shapes. I never draw it. I never drew any shape like this, but why not? You can try it, like mixing a little bit of experimentation off in your shapes. Am I gonna study a little bit of uh, uh, gothic type? I, I, my friends are been doing so much good stuff if you guys are interested in gothic calligraphy, it's kind of a nice comparison if you see it. Okay. If you want to scan it, send to you. Up to you. <laughs> or photograph it. Let's see. Let's see. Echo. 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 Let me do one big one now. I'm going to do like big stuff. Big stuff is nice. I'm going to change the brush. God, I did some mistakes here. There's a lot of ink on the table. My wife's gonna kill me. <laughs> anyway, try to protect your protect your table, your things as much as possible. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna use this guy here a little bit bigger for now on just to see what's happening. Echo. Let's see what I can do. Oh. 
a bit weird now. <laughs> it's like, look at it. I mean, I forced too much. I really like the lateral C. The E is, is very nice. I really like this. I, when I see I did a connection, I really like it. But this all, I don't know, it's a little bit out of place. But I really like the beginning. It's a kind of funny word because you see there's always the same movement. So you guys, that's kind of interesting exercise, right? Uh, let me see Stacy and Pam. Let me do Pam first. Bam, bam, bam. I've seen the Pam. <laughs> Sorry. The bear. Still the same massive big brush. Let's see. I really like this one. This is a very nice brush. Damn right, am. <laughs> Oh, this is a cool. This is cool. Nice. Damn. Do you want it? I can send to you if you want. Send me your address. I, I, if, uh, or you live in San Diego. Anyway, if you guys want it. Oh, yeah. Wow, I can do it. I like this one. I can give it to you if you want. Or you, you live in San Diego, Pam. So you can you can get it. Or oh, you in San Diego. I put in a row and I'll send you if you want. In the Mingator, whatever you guys want, and like no problem. I'm going to the I'm going to the post office this week. Email me your address, you know, I'll send to you. No problem. Yeah, you got it. Uh, Holland, 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 Holland. Hey, Stacy, you wanna? Which kind of br can I try a metal brush with Holland? Okay, it's a different brush for him. He's a, I want to do something cool. Oh, let me see. Get out, ruler. This one, I need a little, sometimes you need a little bit more bounce when you're drawing. So sometimes put a little bit more paper under, like to create a little bit of bounce because you pressure. So I'm going to use this guy. This guy is a different tool instead of to, <clears throat> Uh, I use, uh, you put the ink inside of, you see, you put the ink inside of the compartment instead of to put the tool on the compartment, you put the, the ink on the compartment, okay? Yeah, I can, I can send you a, a card, just give me your, uh, give me your, send me your address by the email or, and I'll send you, no problem. Nice. Thank you guys for coming. Wait a minute, I'm working on here. You cannot see it. Wait a sec. Yes. Wow. This is a different brush, you can see. is a little bit uh, much more uh, edgy.
Oh, let you know what's that? Um, is you put the ink with a brush, just paint the brush inside of the compartment. Let me show you. It's called automatic pen. It's British. So you literally get your brush. You see any brush can be, and you put the ink on that brush, and then you kind of scrape inside. Put inside, and then you see when you have it enough. But you need to be careful because uh, sometimes drop it and create mass. But just beautiful. It's a beautiful, beautiful tool. <laughs> Yo, burger. Yeah, Christine, thank you so much. Oh, um, and. Nice. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna, this brush is a bit different. It's like a metal brush. Let me do, uh, there's anybody, I think that's it, right? If, no, that's it. Did I miss it anywhere? Echo, Stacy, Ben, no, I think we did everybody, I'm gay. Oh, thank you very much, guys. That was awesome. Let me go back into, my face. Oh, thank you very much. It was awesome. I really liked the, the opportunity. Super good. Uh, if you have any questions, you can email me or, but it's very straightforward. You need to keep exercising and, and practicing every day pretty much. Okay. Uh, thank you very much for the opportunity. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed the San Diego Design Week. It was awesome. Thank you, thank you. Have a great rest of your Sunday, okay? You guys have my email and please, uh, you guys can follow me here if you're interested for, I'm gonna be teaching more like four hours class, the whole alphabets and stuff you guys can share and stuff. All right, thank you so much, bye.